China's economy has been doing worse recently. Why is that? What are the causes of this happening? That's what I was thinking when I found this article. So I'm going to read it. It's from Business Insider and it's China's economy faces a triple threat and one economist says the trade war is only part of the story. I mean, that's obvious. The trade war has been hurting China, but China's economy wouldn't be slowing down to this extent unless there were other underlying issues that are now coming to a head, along with whatever other external impacts are happening. So, let's see what they say. China's preliminary third quarter economic growth rate is the slowest ever forecast, and a triple threat of developmental factors could send the country into an even slower contraction, according to the Normara Economist. Some people are saying that China's economy could grow as slow as 5% this year, which would be probably the lowest rate in decades. And since China has grown so much over the past couple of decades, and now has much higher levels of income, China's economy growing 5% now is this big of a deal as if it slowed down to that extent back in the 2000s when China was much poorer. And so it's normal for economies and their growth to slow down as they become middle income and increase their income levels like China's has. So this isn't a super duper big deal, but the fact is that China's economy is slowing. Though again, I don't think 5% is a catastrophe even if it is a long-term low. Though if it's slowed down to like 3%, 2%, yeah, okay, I'd say that as a really big deal. So we'll have to see if China's economy deteriorates further, or if this is like the worst it gets. Continuing with the article, the three primary threats are a projected decline in the nation's population starting in 2023. Yeah, the population is going to start declining because of lower birth rates, but still, it's not an obstacle I mean, their population is growing at like 1%, so it's only adding like 1% to general economic growth. And what's important is growth at the per capita level, not the total GDP. So the per capita growth rate could continue growing the same, even as the population growth declines. So I don't think a declining population is a super big deal. A middle income trap and the US-China trade war. So let's see what they have to say about the middle income trap in the rest of the article. Because I think that's the most valid reason they listed of all three factors they're talking about. The factors could wipe out China's manufacturing advantage and send multinational corporations to other nations for cheap labor. No, Mora Richard Ku wrote. I mean, of course, as wages continue to increase in China, they're just not going to be fundamentally competitive compared to other developing countries with even lower labor costs. China's economy is grinding to its slowest levels of growth in decades. The country's second quarter growth of 6.2% was the slowest rate it's seen since it began reporting quarterly figures. The preliminary third quarter estimates of 6 to 6.5% is the slowest ever forecast. Though global stock markets have stabilized, and trade talks with the U.S. have resumed after a two-month hiatus, China's economy faces trouble from several different sectors. Nomura Research Institute chief economist Richard Ku wrote in a Wednesday report. So now we're going to see what they actually say about this stuff. A large part of China's economic power hours comes from its ability to provide cheaper labor than other industrial nations at a massive scale. A triple threat of growth attenuating factors could eliminate the country's manufacturing advantage and move critical foreign investment elsewhere, Ku wrote. I mean, foreign investment certainly has been a contributor to the growth. Foreign investment and in exports. But the importance of exports to China's economy has been steadily declining. So in 2006, exports were a whopping 36% of China's economy. But over the past decade, their contribution to China's production has steadily declined to only 19%, back to 2000 levels. So exports' contribution to China's economic growth has been steadily declining in importance over the past decade, 
and has gotten a lot less significant than it was. Here are the main threats Ku detailed and how they could cripple China's economy. The middle income trap. I think this is the most important thing that they're talking about here. As China's rapid development has raised the economic tide for its nearly 1.4 billion citizens, wages have risen in turn. This middle income trap jeopardizes the country's low cost labor market as manufacturing interests leave China for cheaper nations, Ku said. At current wage levels, China's return on capital for manufacturers is nearing levels seen in emerging manufacturing nations like Vietnam and Bangladesh. The US-China trade war could exacerbate this migration and bring huge negative implications for China. That, coupled with the hurdles faced by Chinese-made products in the US and other markets, suggests a meaningful decline in domestic investments is likely going forward," Ku wrote. A soon-to-be declining population. Yeah, I said that I don't think that's going to be a super big deal in terms of Chinese growth, because growth generally fundamentally takes place at a per capita level, but let's see what they have to say here. Demographic data showed China's working population shrinking at the start of the 2010s, and the trend projects a net decline in population starting as soon as 2032, Ku wrote. The combination of a middle income trap and a looming population decline is extremely rare for a country of China's economic strength, the economist wrote. These two factors alone would pose a significant challenge for any nation, and now China must also deal with the trade war initiated by the US president. With just 13 years before the projected pullback begins, the country should focus on developing its own intellectual property and pivot away from serving 